Hello everyone and welcome. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, so here we are. And if you're new here, uh, welcome to my channel. And if you've been here, thanks for watching and returning. So today we're going to talk about variegation. Full disclosure, I'm not a professional. I'm, I'm a professional addict. <laughs> I love my plants. And these are just things that I've observed in these variegated plants that I want to share. So I'm going to turn off the fan. It will get hot in here. But So the first plant I want to talk about is a beautiful pothos that I had sent to me from a greenhouse in Florida. So it had about 10 days in a dark box. So at the greenhouse, you see it had nice variegation when it was getting light. And then the leaves that came in after 10 days in a box for about a month straight, nothing but dark, solid green leaves. I put it under 600 foot candles, which is pretty high, really bright. It sat over in the end of the shelf there, and it took a few weeks, but everything's coming out just beautifully variegated now. And uh, you see the most recent leaf, but it's getting smaller, so I'm going to put it on a pole. So this is a case where this plant is totally, totally affected by the light. The genetics are there. Um, as you can see, there's, there's really some beautiful variegation here. But when in the dark, it gets leaves like that. Okay. Then we got a couple good examples of this plant I bought. And it's two plants. And they've, so they're, they're in the same pot, same light, same everything. And this side has genetics for beautiful albo. They kind of come in yellow and then they turn white as they harden off, see, to a white. And it's got a new growth point that is solid white. And I don't mind because this plant has enough um, chlorophyll to keep it very happy and healthy. Okay, but this one, same plant, same light. It just gets little bits. It's, it's got that kind of galaxy effect, which is stable. You know, but this is random regardless of the light. And sometimes, let's see if any of these have it. No. Sometimes they'll get more light on the underside. Okay, here's another good example. So light is bringing this out, but only because it has the genetics to begin with. Then we've got my pink princess. And the reason it's a good example is because there's two plants in here. And yes, there's an abandoned leaf that I cut off, but it's got a new one on the way, and it's going to have pink. So this one on the left, you can see, occasionally gives me pink. They're under the same light. And this side, and these things are notorious for being unstable, but it's given me one, two, three, four pink leaves, and it's got a fifth one coming in with just a touch of green. And it's got enough green leaves at the bottom that you know, it's it's staying healthy. I don't know if I would get that pink if it were not under great light. But the plant has been under great light. But this side has less pink. And this side is getting its fifth pink leaf in a row. With, you know, just a smidge of green. And that green keeps them healthy. So, you know, we'll see what happens with this plant. But it's two of them. And one's all pink, and one is not. Okay, so I ordered from a nursery down in Florida this beautiful variegated Gagiana. And it's just lovely. And, um, you know, allocation don't ship well. So when this thing arrived, it's I just cut the leaves off, and I put it in this top shelf here, which is very bright. It's got a lot of lights. Three lights up there that are over 3,500 lumen each. And, um, you know, the first one, probably because it was in the dark, came out a bit green. This one was kind of green. But after these two leaves got light, it gave me more albo. So I'm, I'm just over the moon about this. So I ordered, I wanted this, but in a macroriza. I wanted a nice big macroriza with the same variegation. And I saw a picture 
of a plant that looked like this but it was a macroriza and I bought it and it arrived and the leaves were garbage again but one of the surviving leaves looked like this and they all kind of looked like that and I was really disappointed I was like oh man that's what I got a few spots and then the next leaf that finally came in was just solid green now I was really disappointed but I kept it in the bright light and look at the last leaf that I got. So two things are going on. One, the light is affecting the variegation. But also, the genetics are there. Because this would not happen just from light. The genetics are in this plant. And you can see the striping in the stem. See? See? It's got it there, just like this one. It has a lot of striping in the stem, elbow striping. So you got to have the genetics. Now this is an interesting one because I bought a little starter and the larger plant right here that has the lovely white. It's a batik. It's an Adora batik. And I decided to get a 4-inch. And I ordered uh, two four-inch pots. This plant was really tiny when I got it, by the way. It was just a little smidgen. And it's grown to, you know, six leaves since I got it. So I ordered this plant. It's been under bright light since day one. It's been very light. Got a cute little sectional area there. I actually kind of like that. And the four-inchers, they the first one died, so they redid the shipment. I love Green Escape, and instead of sending me one plant, they sent me two. Now, I usually trim off the old leaves, but I left this one to show you how dark it is. So, all the leaves on these two plants that they replaced my dead plant with were dark. And I thought, oh, bummer, I got a darker color, you know. But the truth is, now that they've been under the light, they're turning white. So you know, eight to ten days in a dark box will make your plants grow their first leaves when you get them dark. And over time, if you keep them in bright enough light, if the genetics are there, you will start to get this. Because this is from one of the dark plants. In fact, it's the same leaf on the same plant as that. And this was the next leaf that came in after putting it under a bright shelf. Now over here I got a panatum that I got, same greenhouse, and it's just gorgeous. And I haven't put it on a pole yet because, as you can see, we've been busy. I got a whole new shelf system here, and there's going to be a whole new one going behind there. But the first thing I do before I even worry about that is I got to get these two plants on a pole. They're both panatums. So this one is an albo. And after being in a box, the first leaves that it gave me were dark. You see all these dark leaves. After being under bright light, but not on a pole, so they're smaller, but it started giving me the lovely elbow. And then it being still in the box and running plants along the floor, the leaves start getting dark again. And huge internodal spacing. So, you know... It, it's a product of the environment I'm giving it. So once I get it on a pole with supplemental light, I will get big, huge 15-inch leaves that will be primarily like this because I know that this genetics is here. Now we've got the marble panatum. And again, Greenhouse created these gorgeous elbow marble leaves. And then after it was in a box for 10 days, I start getting dark leaves. And then I put it in a lousy location, and it got even more dark leaves. So it's not very bright right now, but I'm going to change that with the correct lighting. So I guess the whole point of this video was, does light affect variegation? Do you, will light give plants variegation? Yes, light affects variegation. But light will only give you this beautiful variegation if the genetics are there to begin with. You're not going to get this from a plant that is not carrying the genetics.
but you never know unless you try. So put your plant under a really bright light and see if you get five pink leaves in a row on your princess. Because your princess may have that capability and you just have to realize its potential and get those pink leaves. And I found it's not only the uh, brightness of the light. You know, 400 foot candles are over to get it really rich, the variegation. But to get the better leaves, you want to add on a little extra supplementation, meaning longer hours, so go from 12 to 16. That's what gave me the giant leaf on that pothos, was when I added extra hours on. So I hope this video was helpful, and uh, I'll see you next time, and thanks for watching.